Hey guys, Davis Maddox here with Moncure Fire again. Today we're going to be going over a very basic but crucial firefighter skill. That skill is catching a hydrant and hydrant operations. We're going to go over three things. We're going to go over our hydrant bag, what's contained in the bag. We're going to go over our LDH, what we have connected to the end of it and our strap. And then we're going to actually go through slow motion and catch the hydrant. So if we come over here, first thing we're going to do is talk about our hydrant bag. Uh, this is by no means the only hydrant bag out there. Everyone's going to have a different bag. They're going to have it set up a little bit differently. This is ours. Uh, you can see right here on top it says hydrant bag in big letters. You know exactly what it is. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. And inside, you're going to see some tools. First and foremost, you've got a gate valve. This is a screw type gate valve. This is an incredibly important part of your operation. This is going to allow you to do two things really. Uh, the first and most important thing is it's going to allow you to attach additional hose lines directly to your hydrant, whether that be a fill line or an additional supply line. Uh, this is going to allow you to do that without having to shut your hydrant down. Obviously, once your hydrant is flown to your vehicle, your truck, whatever it may be, you do not want to interrupt that water supply. This is going to allow you to bypass uh, turning your hydrant off. Second, at the end of your operation, it's going to give you an easy way to bleed off your hydrant and lose any additional pressure to make it easier to disconnect and break down. Second thing we have here is a hydrant wrench. Obviously a very important part of your equation. Uh, one, it's obviously going to allow you to turn your hydrant on and off. But two, uh, also very importantly, it's going to be a great tool to remove your hydrant caps. I want to make this a very important point and stress this, your hydrant caps only need to be hand tight. When you go and you put a cap back on the hydrant, don't put the wrench on and crank it down. That's detrimental to not only your hydrant, but also the O-rings inside of your caps. Uh, but if you do come across a hydrant with caps that are seized on or they've been over tightened, you're going to need this to get the caps off. Third, you can see here we have two LDH wrenches. Uh, LDH stands for large diameter hose, so that's going to be your 5 inch that you typically see connected to hydrants. These are going to fit on your stores connections uh, that are on your LDH. And you can see on the other side here we do have a uh, smaller size as well for regular hose. Then we've got two regular spanner wrenches. This is going to be used to couple and uncouple your hoses from inch and three quarter hand lines on a three inch hose. And last but not least, we've got a two and a half to stores adapter. So this is gonna allow you to go from uh, your, the side connection on your hydrant to LDH. This is gonna allow you to go from a three inch to an LDH, whatever it may be, this is your adapter for that. <clears throat> and it's all contained nicely in this bag here. And that's gonna sit just like this. All right, so now we're gonna go over our actual LDH, what we have connected to the end of it, and our strap here. You can see we've got this nice big yellow strap hanging off the back of the truck. This is called a Milwaukee strap. This eliminates the need to wrap your hydrant. Uh, you can certainly still wrap your hydrant, but the purpose of this strap is to be able to throw this big nice loop over the hydrant, and you can tell your driver to head on. That eliminates you having to plant your foot on it. It's a much safer way of doing things. So if the hose did get hung up in the bed or for some reason it tried to pull around the hydrant, you're taking yourself out of that situation where you're gonna get knocked down or hurt by that hose. On the end of our hose, you can see here, we've already got our hydrant adapter. 
This is a stores to four and a half adapter, so this is going to connect directly onto the steamer cap of your hydrant, which is the front large diameter cap. We keep this on here, it eliminates A, another thing in the bag, and B, it's much, much faster than having to make two connections. It's already done for you. Once I pull this off and we go catch the hydrant, I'm going to go over how this hose is packed back uh, to make sure that it's clear. There is a specific way to pack it back to make sure that you have enough hose at the hydrant so you don't have to start trying to shuck five inch back towards, back towards your hydrant. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and catch our hydrant. I'm gonna do this very slow so you can see all the different parts of it. I'm gonna go over a couple things when I get to the hydrant, kind of show you how the whole operation flows smoothly. This should be a one minute operation. As soon as you get that hose hooked to your hydrant, you can tell your driver to head on. By the time he gets where he's going, he should be ready for water. First thing you're going to do, you're going to grab your hydrant bag, make sure you shut your compartment so nothing falls out when your driver leaves. Then you're going to grab your loop. And that's the purpose of the Milwaukee strap right there. I just drop that over the hydrant and you can see here, I've got this nice big loop that's going to give me plenty of 5 inch to get to my steamer cap. Anyway, so you've got your hydrant loop. I can go ahead and signal to my driver to head on. And while he's driving away, I'm going to be doing a couple things. I'm going to go ahead, open my hydrant bag, grab two things. I'm going to grab my gate valve, I'm going to grab my hydrant wrench. I'm going to go ahead and drop that right there on top. I like my gate valve going towards my truck. So I'm gonna come right here onto the side, go ahead and open my cap, connect my gate valve. My gate valve is left open in my hydrant bag and you're gonna find out why here in just a minute. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open up my large diameter cap. that's open, you're going to see why I leave my gate valve open. People talk about flushing hydrants. It's something you should do a little bit before your truck gets to where it's going to make sure there's no debris inside of the hydrant. That does not mean you have to open the hydrant all the way. What I do is I simply come turn my hydrant on a crack. You can hear the water coming up. My gate valve is open. I can go ahead and be flushing water out of both sides. While I'm coming over here, I'm strapping my five inch. I'm coming around to the front. And I'm going to go ahead. Make my connection, make sure we're getting tight. Make sure to start closing my gate valve. My driver will be ready for water momentarily. We're completely hooked up <clears throat> and ready to go. All right, so your hydrant operation is done. Your hydrant shut down. You're ready to reload your LDH. This is a really important, important part to make sure that you have enough hose at your hydrant to make the connection once your truck is left. So you're gonna go ahead, grab your coupling, and we want about an eight foot loop. Set your coupling right there at the end and just walk it out. So we've got about eight feet right there. The way that you put your strap on is also very important. We want our strap to be directly behind the coupling, and we're gonna count. We're gonna go one and two, and go right through the middle there. Make sure your strap's not twisted, it's on straight. Just feed it back through itself, cinch it up. 
you're good to go. What this is going to do when you pull, it's going to prevent your hook, it's going to prevent your strap from sliding off the end, and you're going to bring 16 feet of extra hose with you. So once you've looped your hydrant with this, you're going to have plenty of hose there to make your connection. So now that you've got your hose packed back correctly, you're ready to put it back on top of the truck. The final step is very easy. It simply goes up, just like it came off as a flat load. Your coupling and your strap should be at the very back edge of the hose bed. Thanks for watching. This is Catching the Hydrant and Hydrant Operations with Monkey Fire Park.